What is going on guys? We've got another objective called play to ball. We have an 87 Danjuma as well as a super loans team pack. If you are wondering what that is, it is 11 players of 99 game loans. Don't ask me why. If you're brand new to the game, then that is a must do. I don't know what sort of ratings in it, but it's definitely going to be a good one. So let's have a look. We've got 13 different objectives. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. But at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Play a foot match and get a draft token. So I feel like I can kind of guess where this is going. You've got to play a match in online or offline draft to get a gold pack. We've got four matches to get a prime mixed players. And this is all offline and online as well. Play eight matches. Win a match in offline or online to get a rare gold pack. Not bad. Rare mixed for winning two. Uh, ooh, 81 times 11 for winning four. We then have play a match in squad battles on semi-pro or rivals to get yourself a mixed players. We've got play two matches. Play four matches. Play six for another card there. Barabiri? Bar bar Ignore it. Hatton, that's what we're going to call him. Four star, five star, so very nice upgrade. Again, will go very nicely with the Saudi League uh, foundation players we got yesterday. Left wing, left mid, incredible dribbling as we can imagine. Some good traits as well, that's not bad. So you've got to play six matches with at least three players in the MBS. We'll go over all of these to make sure. We have Magidi here. Oh, five star, four star. We have Magidi, who is the home of all skill. If you've ever seen a Magidi spin, generally from previous years, incredible player. He is a must to get in there as a super sub. Again, fantastic dribbling and a lot of traits to prove it. We then have five 84 pluses, assist with a football with footballer Magidi, and score with footballer H uh, Hatton during four wins in squad battles. So. You've got to get 12 matches done prior before you can actually get it. Love the name as well. The streets will never forget Magidi. Personally, I don't actually know Hatton. Um, again, uh, maybe let me know down below if you do. Um, I personally don't know him. So how are we doing this? And obviously, once we finish that one, we do get Dan Juma done. So to start with, we have the draft. That is a standard. With the very first one, we're going to consider that either with the draft or with the squad battles. It is either or because obviously, once you've done one match, you're then absolutely fine. So online, offline. Realistically, if you wanted to get it done as quick as possible and you are not very good at the game, offline is going to be perfect. You have got to play eight matches, so it is one of them that... You could potentially, obviously, get it done in draft online quicker. But like I say, if you're not very good, offline is just eight matches. You only have to play the eight and win four. So you could maybe win the first draft offline and then play online to get that first round done. And you might find some rage quits. Otherwise, you could just play all eight online, win in half of them. Jobs are good in. And you get every single one, which is gold pack, prime mix, prime electrum, rare gold, rare mix, and 11 81 pluses. Again, with these packs, I'm saying they're not terrible, to be honest. They're not necessarily always going to be fantastic what they give out. But the fact they are giving us so many guarantees, it's always nice as an extra gamble, really. Then we have the squad battle ones. So personally, ignore the first three because we want to be doing these two first. And obviously, the squad battles will come with it. Personally, you can go in rivals and you do need to have the MBS players, the Saudi League or Irish players in your starting lineup. With obviously the Saudi League, let's have a look and see which ones are going to be your best. You do have foundations as well if you haven't finished them yet, if you wanted to do them first, just to make it that little bit easier in obviously your, um, your journey. You have got to do squad battles as well, to be honest, and you've got to play 10 matches. So to be honest, I'd probably just put them on your starting lineup and sub them out straight away. You do have CR7 as the main man for obviously that. You also then have El Warren and El Jabba as also players from the Saudi League. So for instance, if we go there now, where is it? There it is. So we've got the MBS. So you've got CR7. Like we said, the Al Jabba still in SBCs now. Multiple versions of El Waran. Taliska, I believe I've got actually as an inform. And then you go further down. We will have more specials that you can put in. And are not necessarily going to be incredible at the top end of rivals. But most definitely are good enough potentially. You've got a right back here with 95 pace. 
Again, pace is not necessarily all that compared to obviously having the defending as well, but it's a position where you can almost set aside it and be okay. The other one is having three Irish players. First one that comes to mind is always going to be Roy Keane and Robbie Keane. So them two would be number one. Ivory Coast is most definitely not Ireland. It's Republic of Ireland, isn't it? So if we go to concepts again, we will see Roy and Robbie. McGeady is obviously up there now. Coleman was... Is an SBC? I could be wrong. I thought he was. Randolph, uh, do we still have him? We do. So we've still got the goalkeeper. And really then it just kind of goes downhill for a little bit lower and lower. We've got Doherty and obviously Coleman as the standards. You probably best to just sub him out. There is no requirement to score goals with anybody that's Irish or obviously win matches. It is just play matches. That is all you've got to do with obviously that one. Um, I think it is just literally... Um, yeah, these two. So play six matches, semi-pro or rivals, three Irish players, and then the same with obviously the MBS one. Once you've done them two, you'll obviously have these three done as well, as well as then the first one if you haven't started draft first, and then you need to go ahead and do the four wins on squad battles or rivals. That personally, I would say go squad battles unless you are incredible at the game and are either in the low division because elite, I think it's going to be very hard to make sure you get the assist and scoring and obviously having the win as well. I personally would just take that at the loss of no rage quits and just going straight into squad battles to get that done. 584 pluses, which is nice. The super loan team as well, if you really are that bothered about it. I don't personally know what's going to come in that. But you could, I suppose, hold it out until foot birthday and actually get maybe some foot birthday loans. I don't know what the description is, but that would be an interesting one nonetheless. And that is how you do it quickly. Firstly, draft online, offline, depending on what you want to do. I personally would go online with that. Then with these, with personally the squad battle ones, especially the first ones, I would probably go on rivals to try and get as many wins for the week done, as well as then maybe getting some rage quits. If you've obviously got your Saudi and Irish players, you technically could do both of them at the same time. So you only have technically six matches to do, and then you can go on to the four wins. I would do the six matches each, Sub off whoever you need to. Maybe you've got one decent Irish or obviously Saudi League player. For instance, El Jabba could stay on. Everybody else could go off and sub on your players. And then obviously you've just got to win, which I would do the four squad battles for. And that is really it. Dan Juma himself, four star, four star, left mid, uh, left mid striker or left wing. We've got great dribbling throughout. Obviously that is what this promo is all about. And some good traits, again, flare passes, flare finesse, swerve pass as well. We've got a good amount of stats there. It's an interesting one nonetheless. We, we've still not had the Bamford upgrade yet. We're still waiting to see what we actually have to do. I don't know if you've got to finish the SBC first, and then you obviously get that to be able to uh, to do it. But Dan Juma looks good. You obviously get two more players as well, which is always nice. And a fair decent amount of packs, to be honest. If you are looking to grind out Cruyff or anyone like that, then this is going to be a great SBC for all of these packs for very little gain, to be honest. There's very few to do. In total, it will take you 8, 6, so it's a 14, 18 matches in total to get all of this done. And I'd say that's a pretty good rewards back. You get to finish your weekly, obviously, uh, run-ins with rivals. You obviously then get to do a draft or two if you want to do that online. You get some more packs back from that. And in general, not a bad little one to do. So let me know down below what you think about Danjuba, Hatton, and obviously Megidi. Make sure you do like and subscribe if you did enjoy and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.